Now let's do question number 20. Two men and three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days, while three men and two boys can do the same work in eight days. In how many days can two men and a boy do the work? Bigyan ko kayo ng dalawang solusyon nito. Solution number one. Let M be for men or man. B for boys. First statement. Two men and addition yan siya. Three boys can do a piece of work in 10 days. So, one work in 10 days. Next, while two men, three pala, plus two boys can do the same work in eight days. Ito yung equation number one natin. While ito yung gawin natin, equation number two. Two. Ang next natin gagawin ay i-combine natin itong equation number 1 at equation number 2 natin. Kapag mag-combine tayo ng equation, mas maganda yung mag-identify tayo kung alin dito ang i-cancel out natin. It's either ito or ito. Kung ito ang gusto natin, ganito ang gagawin. I-multiply ang buong equation ng 3. While ang isa, i-multiply ang buong equation ng 2. Focus muna tayo sa equation number 1. I-multiply natin and this is 6m plus 9b equals 3 times 1 over 10 and that is 3 over 10. Ito yung equation number 1 natin kanina. Lagyan natin ng letter A. Next, yung equation number 2 natin. This is 6m then plus 4b and then 2 times 1 8 and that is 2 over 8 ito yung equation number 2 natin lagyan natin ng a din ngayon pwede na tayong mag combine i minus natin ito so makansil out na yan ito na lang ang natira this is 9b minus 4b, that is 5b. 3 over 10 minus 2 over 8. Kuha na natin ang least common denominator. So, 3 over 10 minus 2 over 8. Para ang least common denominator niya ay 20, gawin muna natin si three, uh, 2 over 8 na 1 fourth. In other words, si 2 over 8 pariho lang siya sa 1 fourth. And then, ang least common denominator nila ay 20. 20 divided by 10 equals 2, 2 times 3 equals 6. So this is 6 over 20. This is 20 divided by 4 equals 5, 5 times 1 equals 5. So, i-deduct na natin yan, and that is 6 minus 5, and that is 1. Kupiyahin si denominator na 20. So 3 over 10 minus 2 over 8 is equals to 1 over 20. So, therefore, P, i-transpose natin dito. So, i-divide natin si 5 dito. So, that will be 1 over 100. Meron tayong separate video on how to divide and multiply fractions. So, itong 1 over 20 divided by 5, and that is 1 over 100. In other words, itong si B, one boy can do the job in 100 days. Yan yung equivalent ni B. Ngayon, mag-substitute tayo to get M. Balikan natin yung unang equation natin. So, isulat natin ulit dito. That is 2M plus 3B equals 110. Si 2M plus 3 at equivalent ni B ay 1 over 100 equals 1. 10. I-solve lang natin ito. 2m plus, this is 3 over 100 equals 110. 
2m, transpose natin sa kabila, kaya magma-minus na siya. So, maging minus 3 over 100. So, ang least common denominator ng dalawa ay 100. So, mag-multiply tayo ng 10 nitong 1 over 10 para maging 100 din siya. So, this is uh, 10 times 10 equals 100 and this is 10 over 100. In other words, yung kaninang 1 over 10 natin na equivalent din ng 10 over 100. Pwede na nating i-solve ito. So, kopyahin ang denominator ng 100. 10 minus 3 is equivalent to 7. Now, two men. Balikan natin ang question, ha? In how many days can two men and one boy do the, do the work? So, dito lang tayo. Hanggang dito lang tayo. Ang two men ay equivalent ng seven job in 100 days. I take note natin yan. Let's go back again to the question. In how many days can two men and one boy do the work? Ang isang lalaki nandito. Ito yung isang lalaki. So that is one boy. Ito yung, yung dalawang lalaki, ito yon Equivalent ng two, 7 over 100, 2M. So, ang equivalent nito ay 7 over 100. Ang equivalent naman nito ay 1 over 100. So, kopyahin lang ang denominator ng 100. 7 plus 1, that is 8. 8? job in 100 days. So, 100 divided by 8 and that is 12.5 days. So, ang sagot dito ay 12.5 days. Now, let's do another way of solving this. Erase muna natin. Let this be our solution number two. Para mas lalong maintindihan, uulitin ko, pero sa ibang paraan. Two men, again, let M for men and let B for boys. Two men and three boys can do a piece of work in ten days. In ten days. Same na work, so equal to three men and two boys can do the same work in eight days. Solve natin to. Ito na yung equation natin. So this is 20M plus 30B equals 24M plus 16B. Pagsama ang mga like terms, this is 30B minus 16B, 24M, minus 20M. Klaruhin ko lang para sa ibang nalilito, para kasi may iba nagtatanong paano naging deduction siya, ganyan. So, para makancel out dito yung 16B, nag-minus tayo ng 16B to both sides. Cancel out na siya dyan, kaya ang natira dito ay 24M lang. Para makancel out si 20M dito, nag-minus tayo ng 20M to both sides. Kaya na-cancel out si 20M dito, nandito na siya sa kabila. Now, let's proceed. 30B minus 16B, and that is 14B equals 24M minus 20M, that is 4M. Ang trabaho ng 14 boys ay equivalent ng Four men. Two men, divide mo lang siya ng two. Two men is equivalent to seven boys. Itong two men, nasa given yan. Two men. Equivalent to seven boys. So, balikan natin yung tanong, how many days can two men and one boy Two men and one boy can do the job. In how many days? Ang two men ay equivalent ng seven 
boys plus one boy is equivalent to eight boys. So, in other words, si two men plus one boy are equivalent ng eight boys. Balikan natin yung given. So, two men and three boys. Two men plus three boys equals ten days. Itong two men na ito ay equivalent ng seven boys. Itong two men. So, seven boys plus three boys equals ten days. Uulitin ko para sa nalilito. Ito yung given. Nasa given mismo. Two men plus three boys equals ten days. Ay isang trabaho. Matatapos nila ng sampung araw. Next. Dito sa nasolve natin, ang two men ay equivalent lang ng seven boys. Itong two men na to ay equivalent ng seven boys. Kaya sinasubstitute natin itong two men. So, seven boys plus three boys equals ten days. Pariho lang. Therefore, ten boys is equivalent to ten days. Dito sa tanong natin ulit, two men plus one boy, ilang araw? Two men is equivalent to seven boys. Seven plus one equals eight boys. Itong eight boys, ito yung hahanapin natin. Meron na tayong ten boys, it is equivalent to ten days. Therefore, just do this one, ten times ten divided by eight. That is one hundred over eight. In other words, twelve point five days. Ito na yung sagot. Just in case hindi nyo pa rin siya maintindihan, uh, intindihin nyo yung given Tapos, kayo na mismo ang mag-try na mag-solve kung paano ba talaga. Otherwise, search nyo na lang kung meron kayong makikitang iba pang solusyon para maintindihan nyo to. O kung gusto nyo, ulitin nyo yung video.